happening now, a long term lease agreement has been signed to keep a county hospital open in northeast Arkansas. Baxter Health and Fulton County Hospital both wanted a long term agreement reached by March 1st. This would allow Baxter Health to operate the hospital and get it back on its feet after facing multiple financial problems. Just a few days before that deadline, Penn met paper. I spoke to the hospital and the county about what happens now. We're committed to uh, the citizens of Fulton County continuing to provide the emergency services, the inpatient services. Fulton County Hospital over the last few years have had financial issues, sometimes struggling to keep the lights on and pay their employees. The hospital was in dire economic distress. OK, had to get uh, loans to just to make payroll. But with the involvement of the state of Arkansas, the ability to merge with a nearby hospital started to become a possibility. As the consultants looked at it, they felt that uh, Fulton County Hospital might be one that needed to merge with somebody. That nearby hospital was Baxter Health and Mountain Home, who stepped in and began to operate the hospital late last year. By middle of August, we had a management agreement signed where we came in and started managing. And now months later, a long term agreement has been reached. The Baxter Health System Board of Directors, as well as the quorum court voted to uh, enter into a long term lease agreement. That long term lease agreement is good for 25 years. Baxter said hospitals like these must stay open because it can be the difference between life and death. It's critical to have that access to care, to have um, the option to be able to go to an emergency department in your community for stabilization. Now, the judge said the entire thing would not have been possible without help of local state representatives and senators, as well as Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders. In the agreement, it states that should the health system decide to part ways with the hospital, the building as well as its contents in Salem will return to the county.